Borada, welcome to the InstaSim channel. Today I'm playing Ratchet and Clank A Crack in Time in the last episode. We flew to Axiom City. We haven't actually done anything yet here because I didn't want to stop playing the game halfway through playing a map otherwise we would otherwise have to start all over again which I didn't want to do this time. So we're going to start off at Axiom City right now and we're gonna go over to doing the rendezvous at the New Rocks Plaza. Because we're going to go meet General Azimuth there. So, let's go and do that. Right, there is a zone here as well. Because I did hear a zone earlier. I don't actually know where it is though. I have no idea. In any case, we don't have to worry about that right now. So we'll go... Oh, there it is. Okay, we're fine. Oh, we can't. <laughs> Come on, let me catch you. Yay! <laughs> right, we have a few more bolts that way actually, which I do want to make sure we collect most of them. Uh, greed is good. Haha, we caught it. Whoa. Okay, never mind. Uh Oh, oh look, there's a thing. Hey, a Constructo mod. Very good, very nice. Ah, uh, sure, let's do that. The incendiary modification has a motion sensor that triggers when an enemy wanders within its range. Oh. Cool. You forget those crates over there. We might need to go back anyway, so it doesn't really matter right now. Right. Best in the galaxy. Thermoflux ammo coming soon, and that's also coming soon as well. So we don't, we can't buy anything because there's nothing available. I think we might have actually bought something already, so I don't actually know. Hoverboard? What? Ah, <laughs> oh, wonderful. Right. Oh, you do come back anyway. That's fine. Yeah, this is supposed to be the story way now. We're going. I honestly can't remember. I think that's the way we're supposed to go. Another Lombax? Typical. Who do you think you are? Hover booting over everything in sight like it's your own personal playground. Exactly what you said. Yes. Uh What is this place? You mean you don't even know where you are? This is Axiom City, home to the most intelligent life forms in the universe. We won Polaris's brainiest race competition 3,000 years in a row. 3,000? Bloody hell. In the market for Zony technology, are you? <laughs> well, I'm afraid they've already signed an exclusive contract with someone else. A doctor, if I recall. 
Well, that doesn't sound very good. You mean the criminal the authorities are looking for? He headed towards the spaceport, hoverbooting off these transports like a vandal. Okay, thanks. Right, let's. We. Oh wait, yeah, they only activate occasionally, don't they? Oh, hello. Oh! Yay, level 3! <laughs> oh, bugger. Oh no! Yay, we've helped together. Perfect. Right. You're welcome, by the way. He's the to chosen one. Honestly, the chosen one is just, you know, th there's not really any significance to being the chosen one. Does not come in peace. Where does this go? Where does this go? If it goes back to the ship, then that'll be handy, but also annoying because I've just tried it and it goes back to the ship. It does go back to the ship, doesn't it? The dice are pretty cool, to be fair. Right then. Oh. Another Lombax. Come back to vandalize more equipment. Yep. Find your manners. Any super intelligent being can see that this is a different Lombax. My colleague is just upset about the rebel azimuth destroying the terminal. The firefight triggered Axiom's defensive grid, and now the entire city's closed off. Maybe you can help. What's he gonna do? Fly over the grid and activate the reboot switches? Ah, I'd love to see that. Okay, then. <laughs> I like how he said okay just after the yes, like, oh, I'd love to see him try that. It's like, okay. <laughs> you see, Zircon is on our side. But first, I must terrorize everything. Are there any more crates? Nope. Right then. Oh wait, yeah, those blockers in, don't they? Hang on. Let's try again. Oh, stop that. Uh... You did it! The system is 
Yay! Oh, bugger. Zircon is now level 2. I could get into a lot of trouble for this, but I'm tired of Nefarious and his troops. Let's see if I can activate this transport tube now that the lockdown's over. Here you go! This ought to take you right to Nurok's Plaza. Hooray! Activated. I don't need to go there yet though, I do want to get these crates first. You're welcome. Wait, why do I have a battery bot here? Where did this go? Yeah, what's this way? I'm not sure where this goes. I'm gonna go this way first because I'm not entirely sure where the other thing goes. There is a zone in this way as well. Oh! Hang on. Hey, a rhino hollow plan. Oh, you're going up there, are you? Yay! <laughs> I have to figure out where this battery bot goes. Oh, we've taken it with us. Why would he help Nefarious? Probably for the same reason Forcelon is. They use the clock for their own personal gain. Why do I get the feeling this clock does more than just tell time? Because it moves time as its caretaker sees fit using a control room called the Orvis Chamber. Think of what Nefarious could do with the power to control time. I have to go. Call me as soon as you reach Nurok's Plaza. Right. You do now. There we go. Oh, that was quick. Well done, Zircon. You did a good job there. Another Zoni? Aha! Oh, 
Well, I'm currently full on nanotech, so I don't really need any either. Come here. Hooray! We've got eight, nine zoni now, so I think we get an upgrade with that, don't we? Because <coughs> it's a multiple of three. Yes, I will help you, don't worry. Alex diverted all air traffic away from the building. We'll have to find another point of entry. Come, I have someone on the inside who may be able to help us. Someone who works for Nefarious? Actually, he's a data miner at Pollux Industries. I saved him from becoming food for the Agorians. I'm here to cash in on that favor, Jarvis. We need a way inside Pollux Industries. I knew one day you'd make me an accomplice to terrorism! <laughs> I'm a diagnostic on that security system. In the meantime, you better take cover. Another security team is closing in. Oh, no. Well. Sink their positions to our nav units and hurry up on that diagnostic. Welcome to the Chrome Net Weapon Shop. Oh. Tesla spikes, they're not, they're good. Tesla spikes are the ultimate defensive weapon. One spike is effective. Two or more, and they're outright lethal. When some goons approach you, try throwing a few Tesla spikes. Deadly electricity will flow between each spike, destroying nearby enemies and protecting your hide. The more you throw, the more protected you'll be. Tesla spikes, available only at Rumblemate. Perfect. Around, I'm all right for now. Uh, Zircon and... Ooh. Air Lombacks. No idea what that skill point's for. <laughs> no time, what do you mean it's no time for games? I'm not playing games, I'm actually just... Oh, Jarvis. Yes, pie is a good idea. I like robot pie. It tastes very nice. <laughs> There we go. Oh. Are you really incapable of... Well, no. Oh, there's one of the big ones. Oh, I'm low on health though. Oh. 
I am very low on health. Hooray! We'll follow him in the next episode because I don't actually remember if we're going to have battles beforehand and we're a bit about 22 minutes into the video so uh, I'm going to end this episode here and then the next episode we're going to follow uh, Azimuth to, well we're going to go over hopefully into the main area which wherever we're supposed to go, inside the building. In any case, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Rational Clock and Kraken Time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like it, video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me a lot and you get more videos like this. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. But until then, goodbye. <laughs>